You can't hear it, but there's like 2,500 people roaring behind their computers somewhere. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no pressure. Give a huge welcome to Mr. David Lip. Please welcome Hussein Cornell. He's over that way from the. Uh, Hussein! <laughs> we're going to. Uh, we're going to sit back and enjoy this uh, bowl of popcorn here in this uh, unit yeah. demo. Gotcha. I have a ping. Roger, on standby. Sending coordinates for the beam. Just really quickly, I wanted to show kind of how we started. I mean, th th this was it. And in a matter of, I mean, it was very, very quick that we then had this. So this is part of the uh, spaceship uh, kit bash. And this was the final that we ended up uh, ended up bashing together. That's uh, the sci-fi pack, and I just threw it in there. We used uh, a lot of these assets. Just to let you guys see, this is uh, heavy metal. Uh, I think there are some pieces from, uh, and sorry, I am totally destroying it there, David. No! <laughs> and let me turn off the, the block out and you can start seeing. This is 99.9% .9 kit bash. We're gonna turn on the lighting and we can start seeing, okay, this feels a little bit better. We were able to, you know, create some really cool clouds, create the uh, the, the environment. This was done thanks to the, the, the whole kit bash system was done basically, I mean, we went from the ice cream cone to this like, basically over a few hours. Yeah, I mean, it was it was super fast. Having assets is definitely the game changer. Having assets that are ready to just basically drag and drop. So Marcel is in, in his cockpit and he's, and, he's, and he's coming down. We were uh, we were able to put in a little bit of, uh, you know, a handheld mile, just kind of cool. We, we wanted to tone down some of the ambient occlusion, so we put an override so it wasn't as crazy. Try the exposure. I'm curious about the exposure. I think I got to go the other way. Yes. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Cool. That's pretty cool. And here we are. So this oh, is that's a, great. I love this shot right here. That's pretty cool. So now what I can do is use our composer from Cinemachine to be able to then recompose this shot. And we can start seeing that now that's going to be kind of our focus point. For me, I mean, as a concept artist and director, it's like being a kid in a candy store. I have tons of toys. I just put them together using the best, one of the best uh, sci-fi concepts in the world. I, I mean, that was a blast for me. It's Full really incredible to watch. I can do the sound effects. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>